Hello again. This is Math 2115 coming to you from the College of DuPage, and this is the launch of our Quiz 2. Here's some guidance, and remember that these low stakes quizzes are practice for the upcoming higher stakes quizzes called midterm and final exams. So a hard copy of this quiz is to be found in your syllabus tab on Blackboard. So you can look there for that. Be mindful of the due date for this lower stakes assessment, and that's just before midnight tomorrow, and uh, that will be uh, the 24th, I guess, midnight at the 24th. So you have over 24 hours to complete this. Take home protocols will apply. You can work with Jesse. You can um, Ask questions in Learning Commons. You can ask me questions at uh, at my office hours. So take home protocols apply, but that means the work should be your own, even though you can get help doing it. The scope of this quiz includes the video lecture that I posted this morning, and in fact, a uh, part of the quiz comes from there. So you really want to watch this uh, video lecture first. There are 11 equally weighted exercises. So my guidance for you is do the work first from the hard copy using pencil and paper and perhaps a calculator. Then, and only then, when you're finished, open the assessment that is deployed in your assessment tab. There is a password there, I'll tell you what that is, and you must adhere to the options that are set there, so be aware of that. So you're going to be putting something in the assessment tab and you're also then going to upload the PDF of your work when finished into the PDF upload area. So again, reminding you, your quiz is going to be, uh, the hard copy with the questions is going to be in the syllabus tab. You're going to do the work on that. When you are ready to submit your answers, you're going to go into the assessment tab and you'll be opening quiz two, and here is where you're putting your answers. This will be the primary grading instrument again. And this is where you will upload a PDF of your work. Again, this is how we're going to do the midterm and final, so you want to get used to it. Now we're going to talk about the options associated with the assessment quiz two. You can only do this once. I hope you don't uh, stumble on this, but if you do, you're stumbling on a low stakes assessment, not on a midterm, but you only get to do this once. There is a password and the password is shown down here. It is quiz two, all caps and concatenated as one word. Q-I-Q-U-I-Z-T-W-O. Now, when you log into this, that's the password that you enter and the clock begins then. You will have 60 minutes to put your answers in here. And again, there will be time limits whenever you're taking the um, midterm and final as well. So it's important you realize the clock stops here, starts here. And once started, it must be completed in one sitting. You can't come back uh, and do it again. This is, um, and I also have put auto submit. That means if you start and you're fooling around or something and then you, uh, you know, get back and you don't have time to do it, at the end of 60 minutes, it will submit whether you do it or not. This will be displayed until the 24th at 1130 p.m., almost midnight. And you have uh, quite a bit of time to do it because it was deployed Oh, around noon today. Let's talk briefly about what the problems are and then we'll be finished. Problem number one is you're to calculate this number, mod 87. This is a function that we learned in the lecture on chapter 3.1. Number two. The set of positive real numbers greater than zero has no least element. Clearly explain why this does not contradict the well-ordering principle. The well-ordering principle was in the PDF that you were supposed to uh, 
uh, have looked at while I was doing my um, Remembrance Road Trip. But it is from Chapter 2. Here you're to calculate, and this is called the ceiling function, and you know that the ceiling function is because the little feet are on the top of 11 point, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros, and 1. So this is a calculation. Four, uh, you're to calculate this. This is called the floor function. This is another one that was introduced in the uh, lecture on chapter 3.1. And uh, the reason you know it's the floor function is it has a little feet at the bottom. Problem number five, I'm asking you, what is the domain of the function? And this is the floor function. Number six, I ask you, what is the range of the floor function? Number seven, you're to prove or disapprove that y equals f of x equal the floor function is a one-to-one -one function. Again, this was from uh, the recent lecture from chapter three. Eight, this is going back to chapter uh, two. Suppose you wanted to prove that the sum of the first n positive integers is equal to n squared using mathematical induction. So clearly our fundamental statement would be p of n is equal to, I add up the odd um, integers, one, uh, positive integers, one, three, five, plus dot, 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 all the way up to, and this is a representation of the nth, odd integer is n squared. But what would be our first step? That's what you're supposed to answer here. Number nine, uh, suppose you wanted to prove, this is the same thing, that the sum of the first n positive odd integers is equal to n squared using mathematical induction, and we have already proven our first step. So we're taking that what we did before as a given. What should our induction hypothesis be? And you're to write this as a formula. Problem number 10 is another one on math induction. Suppose you wanted to prove that the sum of the first n positive odd integers is equal to n squared using math induction. This is uh, what we've, um, uh, you know, this is a lot of what was discussed in, uh, in chapter 2, and uh, this is the same problem we've been talking about since problem 8. Suppose we completed our first step, which was problem 8, and our induction hypothesis was taken to be this then what would we need to show to complete this proof by mathematical induction? Last but not least, number 11. Suppose f of x is equal to 3x minus 7 all over 2 minus 5x, and g of x is equal to 2x plus 9. Evaluated exactly, g composed with f, evaluated at minus 1. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now, more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. God bless you all.